Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Hi there. My name is Alretta Skellinger. I'm a gourd artist. I use the term loosely. I would like to introduce you to the art of working with gourds, and I'm going to take you from the beginning step, hopefully to the end. We start off with dirty gourds. The question I'm most often asked is, do I grow my own gourds? The answer is no. I buy my gourds from a gourd farm in California. They have thousands of gourds. They stay out in the field for at least a year to dry. When I get them, they look like this, covered in mold, debris, there's kind of a film on them. So that means I have to clean them before I can even begin to get started. I clean them by soaking them in water and scouring them with this uh, little Brillo pad. Then after I've cleaned the outside, I then have to get to the inside. Now my task is to try and get to the inside of the gourd. Before I even start, I need to have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to do with it. Because on this particular gourd, I've decided I'm not going to keep the top. If I was going to keep the top, I couldn't start opening it this way. I drilled a small hole there. Can you see that little hole? I drilled that hole so that the blade of my mini saw would fit. I can just put this blade into the hole. Hang on, here we go. I also want to point out that you need to be cautious of this dust. It's toxic and it has a, a tendency to suspend in the air, it doesn't settle. And for that reason, um, I usually wear a mask and I also have an air filtration system that picks up any of those fine particles in the, in the air. Now we have, um, we've cut off the top of the gourd, now we get to see what's inside. Well, that's not so bad, but there's a bit of a mess on the inside. That means I have to get that out. By the way, if you're looking for gourd seeds, I have a few. There's always a couple. Um, I give them away to kids and, um, and sell them on the side. I, I made that up, I don't really. But now I want to show you how I clean the inside of the gourd. It's very, it's tough, it's hard. It's not as fragile as you think it would be. And they're very lightweight because they're, they're dry, but they're really quite strong. You can see how thick this gourd is, and that's the main reason I buy my gourds from California. The growing season is longer, the gourd becomes thicker in its growth. You can grow gourds in Minnesota, but because the growing season is shorter, the, the um, gourd becomes very thin Therefore, it does become fragile whenever you come into it. I have an abrasive ball that I bought from a website uh, for gourds. I just have it in my drill motor, and I use this to clean, and it's messy. I draw a design on the pencil, usually sketch it, uh, seldom use a pattern, um, and then I, I'll be going uh, to another station in order to do the wood burning because I have all my tools set up over there. This is my wood burning station, I call it. I have um, I've taken a different gourd, and one of the things I did want to point out, this gourd is um, not going to sit up by itself. If I tried to sit it by itself, it would, it would tip. So another thing that I do is I make gourd stands. I paint them, and this is just a bare model here. But So now that gourd can sit in any, any position. I drew a quick sketch on here of a moose. I do not leave it on the stand while I'm working on it, but it keeps me from dropping it on the floor. There are many different kinds of wood 
wood burning tools, I elect to use what's called a hot tool. It's the kind you use when you're a kid doing things. But I like it even though I can't adjust the temperature on it. I have better control. I'm going to put this on my lap to help hold it. This is my test block. Oh yeah. Burns in there. I get a little bit of smoke. The gourd has different densities. So sometimes your tool is moving very, very smoothly and all of a sudden you make a big hole because it's, uh, you never know what you're going to run into. Try to keep a, a constant movement. You can see where I've skipped a couple of places. I'll have to go back and check that. And notice that I'm moving the gourd as well as moving my hand. stop because I've run out of out of uh, movement room but I have to go back and touch up. In burning I get debris on the tip of the tool so I just wipe it off on a little piece of sandpaper.